Hi everyone and welcome to the But It's So Pretty YouTube blog hop. So this um, hop is put on by Kate Kennedy and she has um, hosted this event and there is a ton of amazing prizes to be given away. So the information for all of this um, is below my YouTube channel so make sure you check it out. Um, I'm just going to kind of talk briefly about what uh, I'm doing here and then I'm going to kind of talk over uh, the video to tell you what's all involved with the blog hop. So in the beginning of the video you saw me um, you pulling out some of the really pretty things that I have in my collection that I've been hoarding. Um, some of the stuff is a little bit older but again it's one of those things where the whole idea of this challenge is to just pull out those things that you've been hoarding that are just so beautiful and you're scared to use them um, to just kind of get them used up. So um, it was a really fun challenge, very hard. Uh, I had a hard time even pulling stuff to use. So, but I really like how this layout turned out. Now, this picture is old. This picture is of my daughter, who's probably three at the time, maybe four, and my son looks like he's probably about two to three years old. And um, we, um, it's just such a cute picture. My daughter's helping me rake the leaves and I snapped that cute little picture of her. But he, this picture is actually from those old Kodak Advantix um, cameras. So they used to make them four by sixes and I think maybe like a um, five by, no, it's probably more like a seven by four and then I think this picture measures out like eight by four um, so you could kind of get like that panoramic look to it and I just love this picture so I was like I have to use it with all this pretty stuff that I'm using I've been kind of saving that picture too so I matted the picture with uh, some of that Prima coffee paper that I've been hoarding which I totally love and then I've been so into the watercolors lately and so I'm pulling out my watercolors and I'm using this uh, pale blue and then I kind of mixed together a red and a pink to kind of match the um, jacket that my daughter's wearing in the picture. And so I'm going to come with some rub-ons. They're the uh, My Mind's Eye rub-ons and then I'm going to use the um, Maggie Holmes Open Book uh, rub-ons as well. So while you're watching me do this layout, um, I'm just going to kind of explain to you about the hop. So um, next up on the hop is Tiffany Westbrook. Uh, so make sure you check out her YouTube channel. Um, the link is for that below. Uh, but if you are just coming to this channel, uh, make sure you start off at the top of the list, which is Crafting Kate, which is also Kate Kennedy. And um, there's like a ton of giveaways so ink road pink fresh studio paper issues pretty pink posh uh scrapbooks and more click kits uh devon scrapbook sale and freckle fawn just to name some of the few sponsors that are going to be giving prizes out for this hop and um again all the information is going to be below uh you're going to want to check out kate's blog post and she's going to have all the information and how you can be entered to give uh, entered into this giveaway and the contest ends midnight central time on May 17th so you do have time to enter so um, I wish everybody the best of luck and it's an amazing giveaway tons of prizes and I hope you uh, partake in a lot of the stuff that's going on uh, this weekend over at um, Kate's blog as well as everybody else's YouTube. So so the next thing I'm doing is I am um, going around this photo with a black Sharpie. It's a really fine point Sharpie. And I'm just kind of doing this lining around the photo and then doing kind of like this doodle little frame. I've been doing that a lot lately and it makes me happy. So I'm just going to keep on doing it until I am bored of it. <laughs> but right now I totally love doing that. Um, you can see I had also um, cut that um, open book vellum gold paper in the chevron. I actually cut it so that some of it is pointing down towards kind of like the top left and then some towards the bottom right and it's kind of drawing your eye up into the photo, kind of puts your eye towards Natasha where she's raking the leaves 
as well as my son who's kind of playing with that dog. So it kind of draws your eye to two different directions and I really like that. Uh, then the next thing I'm doing is pulling up some of these uh, Fifth and Frolic chipboard pieces. Yes, I still have that collection and yes, I still think that's one of my favorite collections of all time. So I really wanted to use that for this particular layout. So, And I'm just, again, just layering the pieces up and just kind of, um, you know, making it look very pretty as the, <laughs> as the title of this blog pop blog hop is so um so I'm just ripping some strips of pattern paper here from that uh, coffee line and um, just making it not so perfect so I'm going to glue those down and that's going to kind of house my embellishments on the bottom and I'm going to use a little house again that's from the um, fifth and frolic collection and a couple other pieces are from there. That little tree and that little bird are also from that same collection. And then this little frame here that I just cut in half, that is from the new Serendipity um, Dear Lizzie collection. And it just kind of finished it off. It just kind of added a way to uh, bridge everything together. And this little jar, I believe, might be from Thrift and Frolic. If not, it is from the Lucky Charm. I can't remember. So, Dear Lizzie is very prominent on this page, I must tell you. Uh, so, that is pretty much going to finish off the layout, other than uh, my journaling, as well as I'm going to add some red cherry, I think it's cherry red India ink, just as some splatters on the page. And that's going to finish it off. So thank you everybody for watching. I want to say thank you Kate for asking me to take part in this blog hop. As well as for hosting this event. It takes a lot of organization and a lot of knocking on doors so to speak to ask for donations. So I really appreciate all your hard work Kate uh, for organizing this event. And it was so much fun and I hope we can continue to do hops like these more often. Um, so thank you again. Here are the close-ups of the layout and um, don't forget to check out the next person on the hop and I will see you guys soon. Bye!